This is Door to Door, the only television show that takes place in your hometown and right in your home. You want a thousand dollars? This guy right here. Figured you might want this oh. back. <laughs> Another three hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Door to Door, the only show that puts a dollar value on the stuff that you already own and gives you the chance to win great prizes and cold hard cash simply for knowing about your hometown. This week we are coming at you from St. John's, Newfoundland, which explains why I am out here on The Rock, which when you're up here <laughs> looks a lot more like a cliff. Affectionately nicknamed The Rock, Newfoundland was the 10th and final province to join Canada. Being surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean, the cod fishing industry made up the foundation of the province's economy and also made it easy to smell what The Rock was cooking. So now you know a little bit about St. John's, Newfoundland, but I always find the best way to get to know a new city is by talking to the people in it. They're a lot more friendly when you have money to give them. Just a tip. Let's go talk to the locals. It's my ride back there. All right, first of all, guys, what's your names? Dave. Jennifer. Danny. Can you sing them now? Danny. <laughs> Jennifer. Dave. I can't believe you actually just did that. Question one. According to tradition and folklore, who is St. John's named after? I have no idea. Was he a pope? John Cabot. St. John? Yes, yes. He was also a Baptist. Baptist St. John? Other way? St. John the Baptist. John the Baptist. John the Baptist is correct, and John Cabot was there as well. So, George Street has more of what per square foot than any other street in North America? I'm gonna say bars. Bars and restaurants. Bars. Bars. Bars is correct. Second correct answer, very good. Okay, question three. Newfoundland is the most eastern province in all of Canada, therefore it's half an hour ahead of anywhere else. But if it is 9 a.m. in Vancouver, what time is it here? It's four, four hours, it's four hours, four and a half hours. 3.30 p.m.? I don't know. Uh, 5.30 a.m.? <laughs> 4.30? 3.30! No, no, you're going the wrong way! 1.30 in the afternoon. You know what? You're the only person that really understood and got that so fast. 1.30? Yes! 1.30. Wow, there's a lot of doubt that happened there. You yeah. pulled it through! I pulled through, I pulled through, I must say. St. John's was the birthplace to what Playboy playmate that still likes to rock and roll all night and party every day. Danielle House, no, isn't no, it? No, no. Oh. Is she married to, um... Gene Simmons? Yes. Do I get a point for that? No, you do not. Shannon Tweed. Shannon Tweed. Correct. Question number five, your final question. Might involve a bit of an explanation. Newfoundland has a custom. It's called screeching in. I'm not from here. I would like you to explain it to me. It's when you're not from here and you go to a bar. And uh, if they want to become official or unofficial honorary Newfoundlanders, mm -hmm. they have to kiss a cod. You have to drink a shot of screech. And you say a little sounding, swearing in thing and you down it and it burns you and then you're an honorary Newfoundlander. Now, your friend being from Ontario, oh, is that happening tonight? Saturday night. Yes. Saturday night, are you ready to kiss the cod and drink the screech? My liver's ready. Let's say we were to bump into each other, would you get me screeched in? Yes. That'd be pretty great. Yes. Can I substitute the, the cod for you? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Hi. You were actually playing for $5 per question. I won. You no. were. You were. You were. So here we go. Well, 20 for you right oh, there. Thanks so much. Thank you very much for your time. You're playing for $5 per question, so you got four out of five. So therefore, let me hand these over to you. One of them you did not get. This is the one that got away. One and two and three and four and five. There you go. So let me hand this over to you. Yeah. And there's 10, there is 15, 20, and 25. Perfect. Right over to you. Appreciate Thank you very much for playing the game. You. Yay, see you. See ya.
bit of a gloomy day, so I'm gonna decide on a very bright house. Let's go see if anybody's home. Love the yellow door. Hi, how's it going? Hey. I'm Jason from Door to Door. What's your name? I'm Elaine. Elaine, nice, nice to meet you. you. Um, so here's the Bye thing. Guys. Oh wow, we do a show. You're not, you're not, this doesn't freak you out at all. No, I'm no. pretty comfortable. What's you're good. the show all about? Uh, it's about going into your home, asking you a few questions, and if you get them right, we'll give you money. How does that sound? That sounds perfect to me. I'm uh, actually free right now. I have a bit of time, so you guys can come on in if you want. All right. That'd be great. Fantastic. Let's Cheers. do it. All right, Elaine, as we set our stuff up here in your home, you went out and dragged in a, another body to help you out here. Who is this person? This is my partner. Um, so I had no choice but to do this with him. So does, does he would have gotten mad if I if I hadn't. So. Does your partner have a name? His name is Jonathan. Jonathan, how's it going? Hi, I'm doing well, thanks. All right, now how long have you known Elaine? I've known Elaine for uh, five years now. Five years, how did you two meet? Wow, that's a long story. Uh, two, two questions. Too long for today. Too yeah, long. very much so, yeah. <laughs> too long for today it is. All right, uh, what do you do? I work in advertising okay. for the Scope newspaper here in St. John's. Cool, and John, what do you do? Uh, I spend far too much time with headphones on, generally. Okay, that's, yeah. uh, that sounds productive, mm -hmm. is what that does. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, um, so here is the deal. Uh, we're obviously here to play a bit of door to door, and so Great. far you're doing very well, because you're already playing the game. Yes. Yes, <laughs> so you knew that already. How did, you, how, did, how did we know this? That's I not supposed no to be idea. revealed. All right, well, you are playing the game, and you just answered five questions, and each one was worth $10, so you got $50 right out of the gate. Excellent. Good stuff. Okay, so with that in mind, let's move on to round two. Now, this round is called, Well, What Do You Know? True or false, Labrador was originally named Abracadabrador. False. That's, that's a unanimous false, and that is absolutely true. I like to search off easy. <laughs> great. So there you great. go. There's nice of you guys. 25 <laughs> for you right there. Thank you. Question number two. Newfoundland's economy in the 19th century was based almost entirely on what? The fishery. Do you agree with that? That's an odd look that you have in your face right there, Elaine. I've heard that before. Um, yes, I agree. And it's good you did because that got you another $25 Thank right you. there. Okay, coming up next, I look forward to seeing that look again. <laughs> the Newfoundland flag is based on Britain's Union what? The Union Jack. That is, he is, he is really, really taking the lead here. Like, he, well, yeah, he's a man, so he's, uh, yeah, he's kind of doing his thing. That's okay, though. You agreeing with that as well? I am indeed. Union Jack is correct for another $25. You guys are ripping it up here. Let's go a little pop culture on you, though, for this final question in this round. What Newfoundland native starred in the film Species? Natasha. Okay. What's her last name? Kind of like another word for a chicken. I, I, time's up, guys. Sorry. Got to knock that one out. Natasha Henstridge. Another word for a chicken is a hen. Henstridge. Uh, yeah, got, All yeah. right. So there you go. In that round, you ended up with three twenty-five. So seventy-five dollars there, plus fifty dollars in the. You didn't know you were playing round. But they kind of did. So therefore, at this point, you got one hundred and twenty-five dollars, which leads us into round three which is a little different. Can you handle it? Definitely. Yeah. Very confident with that answer. I got it. After the break, Elaine and Jonathan will have to put their fingers on something. Find out what when we return. Welcome back to Door to Door. It's time to find out if Elaine and Jonathan complete the challenge. The game that we're playing in round three is called Put Your Finger On It. I will give you one minute for you to go anywhere in your home and put your finger on what I'm about to ask you to do. Okay? Interesting. And I need you to find me a traditional Newfoundland musical instrument. 60 seconds, go! I got go. it. Go! Go, go! They're making their way into the kitchen yeah. for some strange reason. Not the same. Easy, easy. I can do Woo -hoo. Okay, go. Right there. We didn't think of that when we put this game together. Anyone would have this. Very smart on their part. The spoons, you got it. I will give it to you. It's $50 right there. Yay. Now, how about this? Bonus points 
if you can play those bonus dollars, actually. $50 extra to give me some spoonage happening. Go for it. Up on the chest, up on the chest. Yeah, oh, that's better. That's what we're liking. That's worth $50 right there. there. Very good. Awesome. $50. All right, guys, very good. Can I leave the spoons down you now? can put the spoons down now, absolutely. The spoons are back there, an extra 50, $100 in round three. Very nice. well done. And that moves us ahead to round four, which once again right. is going to be an adventure. Giving you one adventure, it worked out. All right. So you're up for another one. Definitely. All right, and the stakes go up once again. Okay. Now, before we get into this round, First, let me present you with what you guys have already won, which is, as I said, $225. Right there. Nice. Who gets to take it? Okay, Jonathan, you hold on to that. Thank you. Now here's the deal, don't put it away yet. Okay, I'll keep it right Because here. this is the bonus round, and it's called Stop or Swap. You guys can choose to stop the game right now, walk away, $225 in your hands, or, you can choose to swap that for what's on the back of one of these three cards. Now, it could be cash, it could be prizes, it could be better, it could be worse. That's the choice that you have to make at this point. Confer with each other, make a joint decision. You've been a great team so far. Swap. All right. Well, Sounds like we're going to swap. We're gonna swap? Okay. <laughs> okay. Swap. That was a uh, one person decision is what that was. That I means yours. I am taking the 225 back. You will not be leaving with that today, but you could be leaving with something fantastic. Wonderful. Here's what we're going to do. As I said, I have these three cards. I'm going to mix them up. They each say something different on the back. You're going to select one of these three cards. Who's going to make the choice here? Go right ahead. Handling. Choose carefully. All right, now hold it down. Don't look at it, okay? Here's what you didn't win. First of all, good. Awesome. You did not win nothing. <laughs> I did which not is, want that. <laughs> no, no one wants this card. All right, you also did not win $100, which is again good, because it was less than what you had. So. If you think of the logic of a television show, that card could have something pretty good on it. Definitely, I'm hoping. You ready? I'm ready. Look at it and then turn it around for everybody to see. You guys are going away on a trip is what you're doing. Whoa. <laughs> Let's find out where you are going. Elaine and Jonathan will be hopping on a plane and flying to London, England and do things that people do when they go to London, England. And it'll probably rain, like it does here in Newfoundland, which is fine because they're used to it. Fantastic, great job. How are you feeling? Awesome. Feel fantastic. Awesome, awesome. I can't awesome. believe we're doing a little trip. That's totally. Maybe. This is a pretty good deal for just having people coming into your home for a little bit, isn't it? It's, uh, it's fantastic. How would you rate your door-to-door -door experience? Five out of five. Five <laughs> out of five. Yeah. An 11 out of 10. That's it's been what great. I like, yeah. right there. It's been great. Thank you very much, guys, for playing the game. It was great meeting you both. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Well. Have a great time in your trip. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Well, Elaine and Jonathan decided to swap instead of stop and clearly made the right choice, both to go on and the right card. One in three odds, but they did it. I wonder if our next player is going to be just as lucky. We've been walking, we found our next house. Let's go knock on the door. Hi, how's it going? Good, and yourself? Good, come on out, come on, what's your name? Uh, Mitchell. Mitchell, I'm Jason. Nice to meet you, nice Mitchell. To meet you too. So you got, you, does this often happen? Uh, no. No, okay, Mitchell, here's the deal. Uh, this is a show called Door to Door, where uh, we go to people's doors and then hope to go inside, ask you a few questions, perhaps give you a little bit of money. How do you feel about that? That, that sounds great. Sounds good? Yeah. All right, can we come in? Absolutely. Fantastic, let's go. Mitchell, Mitchell, Mitchell. How you feeling? Pretty good. Good? Pretty good. How long have you lived here in St. John's? Four years now. Four years. Where'd you live before that? Uh, Cape Breton. Cape Breton, okay. Now why did you move? Uh, to come to school. Okay. Is it university, I'm assuming? Yep. What are you taking? I'm taking science. Now when I walked in here, there was a few people scuttling around. Yep. Uh, you live here with a few guys, roommates? Uh, three roommates, yeah. Are they smart guys? Uh, they're, they're pretty, pretty smart. Would you like their help? 
Yeah, I'll use it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so come on in, guys. Come on in, come on in. There we go. File your way in. So introduce your roommates for us. Well, first, this is Justin. All right, hi, Justin. Hello. This is Robert. Robert. And that's Joseph. Justin, Robert, and Joseph, you'll be helping Mitchell out. And already you have helped Mitchell out because Mitchell, we've already started playing this game. Really? Yes, we have. Okay. I asked you a whole bunch of questions. Uh, there was definitely five in there that counted and you got them all right. Okay. So you've got 50 bucks already because it was 10 bucks a shot. Well, that's See? a great start. It's easy already. <laughs> and they didn't help you whatsoever yet. So let's get into round two. Here we go. First question is, what is the nickname for Newfoundland? The Rock. Absolutely correct. Very good. He's doing well so far, guys. Question two. Newfoundland's motto is, seek ye first the kingdom of blank. Fill in that blank for me. I would say the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is absolutely correct. What a great guess. Very good. Wow, you just fluked into that one. I've never seen someone so insecure about an answer before. Question three and the final one in this round is, who was the first Newfoundlander to play in the NHL? Are you a hockey fan? I'm a hockey fan, yes. Okay, any idea? For the first? No. Okay, well you have three helpers. Who's the hockey fan out of these three guys? Oh, it would be Justin. Justin, <laughs> Mitchell is putting all pressure on you, Justin. What is your guess for who is the first Newfoundlander to play in the NHL? Uh, I would have to go with Dan Cleary. No, that's absolutely incorrect. You have failed, Justin. I'm sorry. Mitchell, you pointed over. You didn't get that one. It's actually Alex Faulkner is what we were looking for. He should not be living here much longer. He cost you that uh, 25. But nonetheless, Mitchell, you're out of that round. You got two correct plus the first 50. So you're walking away with $100. Good? That's great. That's all. You're very happy. $100 and a big smile already. Okay, so now let's move on to round three. This game is called The Choice Is Yours. So it's multiple choice. And in round three, every correct answer is worth $50. Okay? Okay. Here we go. First question. What is Newfoundland's official animal? Is it A, caribou, B, water buffalo, or C, goldfish? Well, caribou. You say caribou? That is absolutely correct. So another 50 <laughs> for you. That one you knew. You seem confident there. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Question two. What is the official tree of Newfoundland? Is it A, the jack pine, B, the silver maple, or C, the black spruce? You know, you, you are doing science. I'll go with the jack pine. You're gonna go with the jack pine, which is A, and in this case, A is incorrect. I'm sorry. The correct answer is C, the black spruce. Did any one of you know that? Oh, they are just not helpful whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know why they're playing this game. Question three, another $50 up for grabs here. Which is not a place in Newfoundland? A, Norris Arm, B, Northern Arm, or C, Cod Arm? What's your choice, Mitchell? Do you know this? I, I don't know this. Okay, that's a firm no, <laughs> but I think cod arm is just too out there. I think you think it's, it's too out there. Yep. Oh my cod, you are correct. Very good for another fifty dollars, and thank you for laughing, all of you. Much appreciated. Makes me feel good inside. All righty. So after that round, you got two right. It's another hundred dollars. Therefore, you're at two hundred dollars at this point. As we move into round four, in which we are definitely going to put you to a challenge. Are you ready for this? Yes. That was with confidence. I like it. Will Mitchell and his roommates put their fingers on it? Find out next on Door to Door. Welcome back to Door to Door. Let's find out what Mitchell and the boys have to put their fingers on. The game is called Put Your Finger on It. So what I need you to do is find something that I'm going to tell you about within one minute and put your finger on it and bring it back to me. And all of you guys are gonna play along with this, okay? You can go anywhere in your house. It has to be in your house. Now, Newfoundland is a fishing province, very well known for its fishing. I want you to find me 
a fish, porcelain, portrait, or picture. You have one minute, go. They are running, they are running. Our cameras are there Anybody as well. got anything, anybody got anything? Look at this, the chaos ensues. Porcelain, no, portrait, go. picture. Go, 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 one minute, guys. Mermaids don't count. They're ooh, in their ooh, bedrooms. Ooh. Let's see. Fish, fish. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. <laughs> what? What have you got here? So with 30 seconds. That, yeah, that can work. You know what? It's been cut up and such, but we'll go with it. Mitchell, you came through $100, proving once again your roommates are useless. Why did you have this in your room? Well, we need to save money on groceries. Well, it's actually earned you money is the funny thing. $100 for this, $200 in the previous round, $300 going into our bonus round. One, two, and three hundred dollars is what you've won so far. So I'm giving you that. Okay. You have the option now of playing our bonus round for double or nothing, which means you could end up with six hundred dollars, or you could end up with absolutely nothing. And this one has to be you, not the roommates. It's one question. What do you want to do? I have to go for it. You're going to go for I it. I have to go for it. You're going to go for it. You're giving me that back then. Here we go. The first visitors to Newfoundland were the Vikings. What is Newfoundland's Viking settlement called? I believe. Okay. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I don't want to say a hundred percent, but no. I'm confident. Confident. It is Lance Meadows. That is absolutely correct. That is six hundred dollars. <laughs> yes. Is what that is. Let me give you original three hundred. On top of that, another three hundred dollars. Awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> what are you gonna do with this? Like I don't know. I'll go for a trip. Do something for my parents. I I don't know. <laughs> okay. A trip. Are you taking them? Uh, they weren't the biggest help. They really were not. <laughs> this okay. is this is. We don't often let people help out in the house, but boom, you had it and didn't help you whatsoever. You did it all yourself. Congratulations. Six hundred dollars. We are going to get out of your house now and uh, leave you guys alone. Thank you very much for Thank playing you. the game, and how was the door-to-door -door experience? Oh, it was awesome. Like, awesome. Such a good time. Good times. All right. Thanks much, Mitchell. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Like, come on. <laughs> well, double or nothing can be tricky, but in this case, risk equaled reward, as Mitchell managed to turn $300 into $600 with no help from his roommates. That wraps it up for us here in St. John's, Newfoundland. But if you'd like the chance to be on the show, go online to doortodoortv.com. I'm Jason Agnew saying we've got more great action next time right here on Door to Door. So don't you dare miss it. I want 600 bucks. Thanks, Door to Door. Come on yeah. in. <laughs> Thank you, Door to Door. Thank you very much, Door to Door. We love you. Remember, I'm getting wet.